channel today I'm going to be sharing my baby's nursery room tour. So the inspiration behind her room is definitely more boho, natural, gender neutral with a few feminine touches here and there. And somewhere where we could hang out all day and I wouldn't get tired of looking at the aesthetic of her room. I'm also going to be sharing the pieces where we got each piece and putting links in the description in case you also want to check out those items. Now some of the pieces in the room, like this mirror right here, are things that we already had from previous apartments or homes, but I'll try to link something similar in the description below. I'm also going to be talking about the changes I actually made to the nursery once she came into this world. So my baby's already a few months old, and once she came into the world, I realized that I needed to make the nursery a little bit more practical for both of us. And we'll be talking a little bit more about that shortly. So let's go ahead and get into the room. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the beautiful accent wall. I found these stickers on Etsy. Like I said, I wanted something neutral and boho, but I didn't want the room to be completely stark white. So I stuck with this white walls and I just found these little stickers on Etsy. They're perfect. They're really easy to put on once we figured out how to put them on. For my mirror over here, right above our dresser and changing table, our mirror is actually something I picked up at Urban Outfitters, I want to say maybe seven, eight years ago. Next, we have our gorgeous changing table here. It's just a really cute little Moses basket. And a dear friend got it for us. It worked out really well. It's super soft and plush. And we just use these liners. We put these little liners right on top that fit very nicely. Um, so in case there are any accidents on the changing table, we can just whip this off, wash it, and put a new one in. So I keep the extra liners right in here. Our dresser is from Target. Um, it's nothing special, it is a kid's dresser, so it is attached to the wall. I plan on filming a drawer closet organization video for the nursery very soon as she will be transitioning out of her three to six month clothes and into her six to nine month clothes, so I figured that's a perfect time to film it. So stay tuned for that later on. All right, everyone, for this corner of the room, right next to our dresser, we have the handy dandy diaper genie, which is a total necessity. Then we have this beautiful muted rainbow basket that goes perfectly with her room. I found this at Home Goods for only $15, and I filled it up with all of her beautiful baby blankets that she uses all the time. And right next to her basket is where I keep the diaper bag. So this is the Fawn Design diaper bag. They did a collab with Anthropology back in November, October, November. And I picked it up along with the matching duffel. This is really great. I really recommend this backpack diaper bag. It even has a slot here right, right here on the back for a laptop so you can carry your stuff as well. I love it. Moving on. Above the diaper genie in this corner, I have this little ukulele that I purchased in college and am now reusing as a little decor piece, which I think is so cute. If she wants to take it off the wall in a year or so and play it or play around with it, that is totally cool. Here we have her baskets on the other side of the dresser. Once both baskets are filled up, I know that there is a full load of laundry that I can put into the washer. Okay, since we are already down here on the floor, I figured we would talk about this mat. I love the mat. I originally had a rug down here for her, but I wanted to make her room as functional as possible. And because we have animals, I wanted something that I could easily clean, something that she could use for tummy time, when she starts crawling, something safe for her to land on because our entire house does have hardwood floors. And this was just perfect. It fit the room really nicely. I like the contrast of how it's brown with the cream, whereas 
the accent while she has is white with neutrals and browns as the rainbow. So they really contrast each other nicely, um, but I don't think it's too in your face either. I picked this up from Amazon as well. I highly suggest getting this. They also had other really cute prints, so I will put the links, any links that I can find in the description box below. I also have this really cool little wooden play set for her. So I can place her right underneath it and she can grab the toys um, or the rings. I'll put her in the bumbo and she can sit up and play with this. Once she's able to sit up on her own, she'll be able to play with this. And it's really cool because you can easily take off the knobs on the end and replace the rings with different toys. Next, I wanna talk about the textures that I added to the room to give this space a cozy feel. The first thing we have here is this huge, macrame piece that I picked up from TJ Maxx for only $25. It just really warms up the room. And then I have these curtains here that are white, but if you can tell, they do have this sheer tree branch detailing throughout the entire curtain to give the room a more woodsy and natural feel. Okay, next I'm going to talk about the crib space over here. I picked up the crib from Bye Bye Baby. I really like the neutral look to it with the wooden legs at the bottom, which look really nice with our wooden floors. The mobile was only $20 on Amazon. It totally looks like something you would pick up from Pottery Barn for $100. Okay, here we have the crib sheets, which definitely give the room a more floral and feminine feel and her snuggle me, which I highly suggest you guys picking up. It is a must have for newborns. Then we have all of her stuffed animals. When she starts sleeping in the room on her own, I will take them out of here. We've got the boppy and this gorgeous sign with my baby's name and following the neutral rainbow theme. So this is more of my little nook or corner of her room. I sit in this chair to pump constantly, watch my baby, nurse her, feed her. This end table was purchased from At Home a few years ago. I'm sure you can go there or TJ Maxx Home Goods and find something similar to it. It just has that cute rattan look to it. And my nursery chair also brings out a lot of texture and warmth into the room. It was purchased at Target or from Target.com. The throw blanket is this cute mauve rose color, which gives it the room more of a feminine look. And this was purchased from Amazon. This gorgeous ottoman was picked up from TJ Maxx as well for only $40, guys. Like I said, you need to check out TJ Maxx and Home Goods if you have a similar aesthetic to me. They have so many cute things. All right, guys, this right here is what I call my command center. This is something we didn't even put in until the day we got back from the hospital. Once we got back, I realized that I really didn't have a spot to pump. We grabbed this entertainment center that we just had sitting in our basement. We weren't using it. We purchased it from Amazon maybe a year ago. And we created this little bottle and pumping station for my baby and I. So once I'm done pumping, I will put all of the dirty pump parts or bottles in this little bucket right here. And then I will go out in the kitchen and wash everything. This bottle section is great in her room because it just keeps everything sterile where the cats can't jump on the counter. Okay, down here I have another bucket for washing. I have a lot of books in this little nook right here so that I can easily grab it when I'm holding her in the nursery chair and entertain her. And then in each of these little cabinets, I have things like nursing pads, other pumping parts, a feeding journal so I can keep track of how much she's eating each day because she was a preemie. 
when we look up here, I have these cute little hanging floating shelves. These are just spice racks from Ikea. Um, I bought them off of Amazon though, because like I said, I'm a prime girl. And this really cute LED moon light, which I never really <laughs> turn on or use, but I think it's just a nice little accent piece to this corner. We've got the E decal and the Aquarius little poster card. I got the E decal from Home Goods, and the Aquarius poster card is from the Nordstrom baby section. On the back, I haven't filled it out yet, but on the back, it's really cute. You can add your birth story. I mostly just use this to hide the cords of my breast pump and my phone charger, all of that good stuff. Here we have the gorgeous chandelier that was already in the house when we purchased it. So it was perfect. This room actually used to be my get ready room slash extra closet room. And once we had the baby, we turned it into the nursery. So I had it in there for that. It looks cute. I had it in here for this and it looks cute. It just gives it that feminine girly touch. room tour i hope you guys enjoyed found some inspiration or maybe you just like watching room tours like i do that's awesome go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more mommy content and write down in the comments below what was your favorite part of the room was it the accent wall the ukulele the mirror let me know down below thanks again for watching bye